Hi, this is Shad with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. In this video, we'll learn how to use store procedures. We'll first define what store procedures are. Next, we'll use callable statements. Then, we'll learn how to pass parameters to store procedures. I'll actually break this up over four different videos. I'll show each parameter type in a separate video. So in this section, we'll cover in parameters, and then in the follow-on sections, I'll cover in, out, out, and also result sets. So please stay tuned and check out the follow-on videos for this. A store procedure is a group of SQL statements that perform a particular task. They are normally created by a DBA. The store procedures are created in a SQL language that's supported by the native database. Each database has its own language. For example, MySQL has a store procedure language, Oracle uses PLSQL, and Microsoft SQL Server uses Transact SQL. Finally, the store procedures can also have any combination of input and output parameters. For this tutorial, we will use the following table, employees. The table has sample data for testing. I have a SQL zip file that you can download. It'll create the table, add sample data, and also set up the store procedures. You can download it from the link below. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the MySQL Workbench. And what I'm going to do is open up that SQL file and run it. So this is our JDBC store procedures directory. I have a subdirectory called SQL that has this file, table setup.sql. I'll open this file. What this file does, it basically creates a table, as we see here. And then it goes through and inserts a lot of sample data. And then it also goes through and creates all of the store procedures that we need for this tutorial. All right, so I'll just go ahead and select Execute. And this will run. And so now I should have a new table over here called Employees. And this table also has a collection, or this database has a collection of store procedures for this uh, tutorial series. So get count employees, greet, and increase salaries. And we'll go through all these store procedures during the actual tutorial itself. In JDBC, you make use of callable statements to make a call to a store procedure. So there's a special syntax that calls store procedures. You make use of curly braces inside of the string. You also make use of the, of the JDBC keyword call, and that's followed by the name of the store procedure. In this example, we're not passing any params, so we just use the open and close parens. Finally, we execute the store procedure. Let's talk about the parameters on the next slide. The JDBC API supports different types of parameters. You can make use of the in parameter, in out, and also the out. The store procedures can also return a result set. During the code examples in this video, I'll show you how to register different parameter types and also values. Let's start with in parameters. For this parameter, we are only passing an input parameter and the parameter is read only. Our DBA has created a store procedure on the database. This store procedure will increase the salary for everyone in a department which is kind of cool. <laughs> the procedure takes two parameters. The first parameter is the department name. The second parameter is the increase amount. So for example, we can call this store procedure and increase the salaries of employees in the engineering department by $10,000. So in terms of Java coding, we need to make a call to this store procedure. First, we prepare a callable statement. Since this store procedure takes two parameters, we'll make use of our question mark placeholders for the parameters. Then we'll set the parameter values by calling the appropriate setter methods. For this example, we're increasing salaries of employees in the engineering department by $10,000. Once the parameter values are set, then we call the execute method on the statement, and that's it. All right, so let's switch over to Eclipse and let's see this in action. I have a simple Java program called Increase Salaries for Department. Let's walk through the code. So basically what I'll do is I'll start off by getting a connection to a database. Then I'll also set up variables for the uh, department name and the increase amount. And then also what I'd like to do is I'd like to show the salaries before we call the store procedure, just so we can have a before and after example. So what I'd like to do now is actually prepare the call to store procedure. So I'll set up this prepare call. I give call increase salaries and I use the question marks for the placeholders. Now I actually set the parameter values. I pass in, uh, for the first parameter, I'll pass in the uh, department. Then for the second parameter, I'll pass in the increase amount. 
Now do the dirty work. I'll actually call the store procedure by calling my statement.execute. And then, just so we can see the after results, I'll call show salaries again, and this will simply display the salaries for the employees, just so we can verify that the salaries were actually updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the application. Say run as job application. And we'll take a look at the output. So we see the salaries before. And then we call the store procedure. And then we see the salaries after. And we can verify that the increase in salaries of the engineering department was increased by 10,000 for each employee. Mission accomplished. Well, that wraps up our initial discussion on store procedures. We were successful in calling store procedures and passing in parameters. Stay tuned for part two of the video. I'll show more examples on using store procedures and parameters. Be sure to watch the next video by clicking the link here. Also, please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Finally, visit our website lovetocode.com to download the Java source code used in this video.